Okay. So, The Witness. Um, I, I really love this game. I mean, I'm a huge fan of John Blow, but my problem is usually that uh, I, I always hit a wall where I just can't solve any more puzzles. So, <sighs> let's, uh, yeah, let's do this. I am starting again from the top. I think I was like halfway through at best. Um, one of my few complaints about this game is, is this bit where it's... Yeah, it it shows you the left stick and everything, or WASD if you were playing on a computer. No, hold on, I gotta invert the look. Yes. Okay. There we go. Um, because it just seems unnecessary, you know? It's really just the left stick and the X button that you use in the entire game, so you could kind of have just drop people in and let them figure it out for themselves. But it's a minor thing, and honestly, it doesn't take me out of it that much because it only happens at the very beginning here. Um, okay. Let me see if I remember how to do this. Yeah, I've gotten a good chunk through this game. A lot of these early puzzles, I, I definitely remember the general solution to. But then... Later... Later we're gonna hit some, some hard points, so... Hoping... Hoping you guys will, will help make it a little more collaborative, I guess. Couches outside. I always wish I could have just like a couch in a backyard. It seems so cool, but assuming it never rains, because otherwise it's going to be so gross. You see it a lot in like California, I guess, which is basically a desert, so you don't have to worry too much about that. Uh, where is... Oh, okay. I right, 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 right. I remember now. You have to solve one. You have to solve them, and then they light up. It's not you have to find up the lit up one first. Yeah, it's a trail. Yeah, I do appreciate that, like, it, it it does walk you through the controls, but it's like, it does not do any hand-holding for its solutions. Like, it just drops, it shows you the basics of how to interact with the world, <coughs> and then it just drops you into the world and lets you figure it out from there. Um, and there are areas that kind of act as tutorials, but the vast majority of the game is just up for you to uh, figure out on your own. That's just, that's good puzzling, you know? I mean, you played puzzle games back in the day like Tetris and stuff, and it's, there's no tutorial, no nothing. It just drops you in and it starts dropping blocks, and you just have to figure it out. And there's context clues, like it'll say how many lines you need to hit, so you work from there. Um, right. So that's the way to get this open, I'm pretty sure. Yes. 
Then I will go back and do the alternate one there. See, even right there, within this opening area, they show you that there are alternate solutions to puzzles that can change other things in the world. It's a very, very smart game, and I'm, I'm not shocked it took Mr. Jonathan Blow, like, what, like a decade to make this? This was in development for so long. That's mainly because he was working... He was doing, like, freelance. Like, he's a programmer, I'm pretty sure, right? I don't know, I've watched a lot of his talks and stuff, but I haven't... I don't actually know that much about him as his, like, personal life or anything. Which is probably by design. If he wanted to divulge it, he he would. Running. Yeah, this game is very, like, geometric, but it's, like, so beautiful. Look at the... Just look at those reflections. Oh, it's pastel clouds. Gorgeous. Just absolutely gorgeous. <clears throat> All right, and then this is an advanced puzzle for later. No, that's not it. This is... No, that can't be it. That can't be it. Okay, so this is a puzzle that uses some mechanics from later in the game. So I'm kind of jumping ahead because I already know how to solve this particular type of puzzle. But... I just It just saves a little bit of time. No? What did I... Oh. I see what I, what I did. Here we go. Okay. Um. Yes. That is what I want. The, I'll just I'll talk about it when I get to those areas because that combines two mechanics that aren't going to show up for a bit. Let me get this little clue for later, which I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take a picture with my phone as reference. Which is one of the great things about puzzle games like this in the modern age. So we have phones now. So we can we can just take pictures as notes, whereas back in the day you'd have to like sketch it out. And that was not always very accurate. And here we go. See, this is this is the beauty of a path, because it just funnels you to where you need to be. You know, lets you know exactly what um, what's going on, and it's it's a, a very powerful tool in game design to be able to guide players without having to force them onto anything. So right now I'm completely breaking away from the path, but if I wanted to, I could have followed it and just continued on. But I'm just stepping away for a bit. I can always head back to the path if I'd like. And that is a very powerful feeling to be able to choose where I go. Oh, 
I, I will probably say something when I come to a point that I feel bears commenting on, but for a lot of this playthrough, I'm probably going to be just kind of focused. I just want to beat this game. It doesn't seem like it'd be that long of a game if you f f don't take too long on different puzzles, but... And I've just never beaten it, because there's some of these puzzles get absolutely ludicrous. actually figured out how those triangles work. This way, I believe. Nope. Nope, that was incorrect. Come on, come on. Go through that loop. Oh, no, 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 that can't be it. No, that can't be it either. Hmm. Do that same zigzag pattern that I've done previously. But then how... Hmm... Maybe... No, no, that's blocked off. Hold on a minute. I gotta let my dog in. One sec. Hydrate. Um, hmm, okay. So let me think this through. I have to be able to get everything in here. So what shapes can do that from the center? No? No. this shadow a hint? Um. Mm, nope. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. I got this.
Maybe I don't. Also, I hold on. Brief aside, uh, I should probably check how to mute the mic. Because I don't want to have to stop streaming if I need to take a break. Blah, 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 blah. Um, hmm. The menu. Okay, this might pause gameplay. One sec. Yes. Hmm. Well, that's not very helpful. Oh, well. I'll figure it out sometime. Might just take a break. And, like, stop the broadcast or something. <clears throat> Let's see. Um. Hmm. No. No. I don't know. Well, okay, I gotta think in terms of shapes here. So, anytime one of them gets stuck into a corner, it's locked off permanently. So... I think I'm just overthinking it here. Maybe if I just go in a big spiral like that well yes yes i think that's it but i gotta go in this direction okay yeah that's it that was yeah i was way overthinking it and this gets me outside okay okay what <laughs> it just got me out to where i was okay I'm sure there's an achievement or something, but yeah, okay. So the path, which leads right over here, immediately leads you to a tutorial panel, which is just a series of more and more difficult, um, right stick, more and more difficult puzzles that demonstrate the same mechanic. So in this case, and I use this over there, you have to separate the white squares from the black squares. And it doesn't really necessarily matter if there's any gaps as long as whatever shape you draw puts a line directly between. So, say, in this part, I'll loop it all the way around, like so. Uh, whoops. There we go. Right, so that's how I did that earlier, but as you might have also noticed, these dots. So in the puzzles with these, well, they're not dots, they're hexagons, but um, if they're the hexagons, you have to make sure the line goes over. I'm sorry, I already messed it up. The line goes over over all of the hexagons. So in that puzzle I did that got me to the hint for later. No, no. I'll 
I'll be incorrect. The mm, no, not that either. Uh, ah, there we go. Um, I had to cover all of the hexagons and separate all of the black and white squares. And another thing that it's introducing here, technically, is that sometimes you can select from multiple starting positions. So, where you start from will change the shape of the puzzle. Which is something I I've, I've love about this, because that's... The larger thing about puzzles is that no matter what the puzzle is, they always have sort of a shape to them, some some sort of curve or ramp, and all you're doing in solving puzzles is finding that shape. And so in this game specifically, you're quite literally finding a shape. Huh. Never knew you could get up here. Like I said, I haven't beaten this game before. I've I've done a decent amount, and I've watched, um, I've watched C Coco play through a good amount of it. But I personally have only gotten so far, because yeah, there there is a point where it gets incredibly difficult, which I enjoy, but it's also yeah. You hit a block sometimes. And I'm, I'm hoping in this playthrough, which might just be today, or it might be... I might have to split it into parts. Um, I'm able to do more. I am going to take a quick break. Let me see... Okay, I am back. So, yeah, another thing I really enjoy is just how... Uh, environmental these puzzles are. They're pretty much all entirely based on the area you're in. And it'll become more apparent as it goes on. But... It's very nice. And it's it's also got this great implicit narrative. Like, it doesn't tell you very much at all about what's happening. I don't think there's any written word that you can find. But it's incredibly thematic still. Uh, get close. 
Yes. Yes. No. Almost. There we go. Okay, that's not important till later, but it's good to open that up now. And it also allows us to open this section. Let me throw, please. Yeah. Touch, touch. Okay. This is a little easier with a mouse. The controller can be sometimes kind of fiddly. Whoop, come on. Ugh. I think my problem is I'm looking at both of them. I just need to focus on the one I'm actually controlling as far as movement goes. Uh, nope. Hmm, no. Okay, there we go. Uh, uh. No, not quite. Uh, uh. There we go. God's oh, melting. Do not go into that cold night. Come on. There we go. See, yeah, especially in this puzzle, it's kind of difficult to... Uh, make sure you're doing things correctly. Uh, these... This is a very good... Uh, puzzle to have in this beginner section because it's one that you can solve mostly by feel later puzzles the solution isn't so physically obvious because some of the uh, the mechanics stop being something that look like and they're inherently stopping you. All right. Continuing. Uh, whoops. Gotta go around. And there. Hmm, let's go down first. No, not yet. Uh, over here? No. Oh. Okay, I still gotta solve the one up there first. These cables are also... Oh, nope, here it is. These cables are also an ingenious way to direct players. Because without saying anything, you can just make it clear, like that there is a particular direction they can go. It's it's a way to direct players without forcing their hand so that they can decide when they go to certain areas. But... No, 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 no. Nope, no, 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 no. Oh, that's very close. And it, it means that you're less likely to get lost, because no matter what you do in the game, you can recognize where something is going to require your uh, work. Mm. 
no. No, no, I messed that up. No. I keep focusing on the one on the bottom. Ah, there we go. A little extra flourish there. Doesn't really matter necessarily. Oh, right, this one. I remember this one taking me quite a while. Well, maybe I'm misremembering that. Oh, yeah, this one's actually easier than the last one. No, no, go. There you go. Hmm, let's go with the top one. There we go. Oops, right. No, that's not going to work. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Yeah, now the hexagons have specific colors. But not always specific. Ah, nerds. Uh, oh, okay. You can actually, whichever one you select is going to be blue. Right. I did not recall that. Nope, nope, that's not what I'm trying to do. There we go. Come on now. Nope, I already messed up. Hold on. Zoop. Zoopity bap. No, gotta go through there. I can't do that. Hold on. Have to go through there. Do I have to go through? Okay. There we go. Uh, over there. Do, 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 do. Where did it... Where did it go? Over here. Um. Oh. Wait, I could have just kept... Okay, I thought there was a dead end. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. Now we're getting into the real... The real difficult ones. Nope. That was incorrect. Ah, oh 
Oh boy. Get up there. Maybe, yeah, let's try this. Uh, no. No. Hold on. There we go. Oh, yeah. I remember now. You can probably tell the yellow one is starting to fade away. So there's going to be a point in this series of puzzles where you have to actually, like, work out through the shape of the blue one where the yellow one is at. Not quite yet, but soon. Gonna have to uh, deal with that. Oof, it's almost gone. There it is, it's, it's gone. <sighs> nope, hold on. Oh no! Oh, I hit it! Ah, crap. Okay. Hold on. Hold on, I got this. I got this. Um... Let me have some water. Let me think about this. That's where that one is. If I loop up, go. To, um, that's where I'm at. Hit that one. Hit that one. Yes. Yes. Okay. Got it. Uh, I'm not sure how to get down there. Hold on. There's no... Oh, oh. Oh, here it is. Here's the path. Okay. Okay, single. Single puzzles, so let's see. Uh, no, not that one. Other end of the chain. Okay. No. 
Oh, the rocks. See, see, this is what I'm saying. The environment matters. This is set up specifically to line up around the rocks, which is fantastic. But then you have this situation where you can't see all the rocks. Yep, see, that one's not right. Something. Can line this up. And this is when you can find out that you can kind of go into puzzle mode from at any point. So it's up to you to line things up correctly, like right here. Might have gotten this wrong. Nope, that's right. Right, and last one in this chain. Gotta line it all up. Correctly. Uh, oh. Hmm. Might have messed that up. That? No. Oh, wait a minute. Aha! It was backwards. See, it, it's clear, so you can really go from any direction. And yeah, you don't even need to have the whole thing in frame. As long as you can... Uh, ah, almost. In this case, I should have had it all in frame. As, as long as you can get the mouse dot going. I did it. Didn't really do anything in this case. But solving them all will only increase your ability to solve more and more. All right. Unlocked. Let's go to the left first. Um... Nothing over here. Roots. Tree. Okay. There's a group of puzzles. Do I just do that again over here? Oh, crap. Uh, up to... Okay. Yes. Okay. 
then we go like so. On oh, which way does it crook? Okay, forwards. Oops. Okay, okay. And, uh, nope, can't be that one. Must be this one. Okay, so that's one out, down, and then just... Big ol' zigzag. No. Oh, so I have to redo this one, huh? Yeah, it's inverted. That's the trick. Okay, and this is... Looks like a key. And there it goes. Operations. Ah, oh, gotta stay hydrated. Gotta stay hydrated. Okay. Oh, whoa. Ah, there we go. There's the laser. Um, I will check that out in a bit. Let me do the puzzles along the way. Now, this one... Um, I remember... is that you are selecting the branch with the apple on it. So you have to work out symmetrically the clues of which branches are missing. Okay, so that's would actually be this one? Yes. I think the implication here is that at one point all of this was much more kempt. Okay, uh... Rever okay, so this is reversed. So that's actually that one? No. No, that would have been... Okay. Now run back to this one again. That's the one. Alright. 
And then this one is especially difficult because there's no apple on it. Um, so the trick here is seeing the one that is missing from this diagram. Which opens this. As we can see, someone cut the branch off was eating the apple. And the apple has not gone brown yet. Which is the, a very interesting. I don't know. That's one thing that's like mildly unsettling about this game is that Everywhere you go, there's signs of life that's, like, just disappeared. It doesn't feel like this this place has been empty for very long. Despite being the only one here. And other things that we will see later. Alright, can't go in the wind, though. Yet, I uh, gotta go around. Okay, been been there. Pillar, pillar of tires. Something. I don't know. Makes sense to me. You know, you need tires. For, uh... Wheeling. Carts. Hmm. Oh yeah, the laser. Well, let's continue off in that direction for now. No do. Hmm. Is it... Is it just this? Is it just the shape of a windmill? Okay. That was... That was pretty easy. Ooh, wait, how am I... I guess this? Oh. Oh! There are gaps. There are gaps in those struts. That's gonna be... That's gonna be the clue to something later. through here. Um, okay. 
I oh. What is? Hmm. Come back to that one. Well, I mean, we know well, how, though. That one. Faded away. What does that mean? This. How can this be correct? How would I be able to do this? Oh, wait. That turned. I turned that white. So do I... So I include a black square in those? That removed a white square. So... Maybe I just do all but one white square. Maybe... Huh? Okay. That... That did it, I guess. That... Well, why did it do that? Okay, it looks like it just removed the one mistake from each, so I guess that's like a... So you just... If you include a square, that's incorrect. Where is this? Oof. Oh, it's bright. Uh, oh, I can walk right out. Lovely little dock. Another one of those panels. Which is a thing for later, I won't spoil. Okay, we got a blue and orange shipping container. Right.
Okay. What do I... What do I do with this? Perhaps like this. Yes? No. No. Is this a clue? Is there a, is there a clue in all this spray paint? This side's completely orange. That side sprayed a little blue. In fact, very blue in this particular section. Wait, let's look. Maybe... <sighs> no. No, that's already messing it up. The way black is set up, it'll have to be on the outer side, so we'll have to fully contain... All of the white pieces. No, 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 no. I gotta create a barrier. Hmm. I'm gonna come back to this one, I think. It's probably stuff- I mean, there's still stuff back in here. It- ooh, not in here. In the, uh, in the lighthouse- wait, where's the lighthouse? That's not the lighthouse. Where am I? Hold on, I'm gonna take a break real quick. Okay, let's see. 
Hold on, I gotta find my way back to the lighthouse. I don't know where I am. Okay, there's the lighthouse over there, so how'd I get over here? Hmm. I guess this path underground is like way bigger than it looks. Uh, which way? Which way is it? That's back up. There it is. Oh, oh, wait, 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 I know this one. I have a picture of this, hold on. Hold on, I gotta open up my, uh... Photos. There it is, okay, so that's, uh, whoops, gotta... So it's this one around around that what's that what is it? What? well who are you that's no better a solution than any of the others is it so in the end have we learned anything from this look at why the world turned out the way it did that's of any use to us in our future Something, I think, that the key to why things change is the key to everything. How easy is it for knowledge to spread? And that in the past, the people who made change happen were the people who had that knowledge, whether they were craftsmen or kings. Today, the people who make things change, the people who have that knowledge, are the scientists and the technologists who are the true driving force of humanity. And before you say, what about the Beethovens and the Michelangelos, let me suggest something with which you may disagree violently. That at best, the products of human emotion, art, philosophy, politics, music, literature, are interpretations of the world that tell you more about the guy who's talking than about the world he's talking about. Second-hand views of the world, made third-hand by your interpretation of them. Things like that, as opposed to this. Know what it is? It's a bunch of amino acids. The stuff that goes to build up a, a worm, or a geranium, or you. <laughs> this stuff's easier to take, isn't it? Understandable. Got people in it. This, scientific knowledge. It's hard to take because it removes the reassuring crutches of opinion, ideology, and leaves only what is demonstrably true about the world. And the reason why so many people may be thinking about throwing away those crutches is because, thanks to science and technology, they have begun to know that they don't know so much and that if they are to have more say in what happens to their lives, more freedom to develop their abilities to the full. They have to be helped towards that knowledge that they know exists and that they don't possess. And by help towards that knowledge, I don't mean give everybody a computer and say, help yourself. Where would you even start? No, I mean trying to find ways to translate the knowledge, to teach us to ask the right questions. See, we're on the edge of a revolution in communications technology that is going to make that more possible than ever before, or, if that's not done, to cause an explosion of knowledge that will leave those of us who don't have access to it as powerless as if we were deaf, dumb, and blind. And I don't think most people want that. So what do we do about it? I don't know. But maybe a good start would be to recognize within yourself the ability to understand anything, because that ability is there, as long as it's explained clearly enough. And then go and ask for explanations. 
And if you're thinking right now, what do I ask for? Ask yourself if there's anything in your life that you want changed. That's where to start. Um, it's very interesting because I, you can kind of tell from the the outfit he was wearing and the quality of that that that, that was from I would say probably early '80s at the latest. And the concept of giving everyone a computer and everyone that's that's happened. That's smartphones and everything. So. It, he he does make a very good point about how um how how that hasn't necessarily helped people people will often refuse to even look things up or if they look them up they'll see them interpreted in a million different incorrect ways uh i don't necessarily care for the the, the facts don't care about your feelings vibe of that necessarily but yeah, it's interesting that they were able to predict something like that. Uh, I'm taking a picture of this as well, because there, there was that one at the start. That little secret area, and I feel like they're probably pretty important. So I'll head back at some point and take a picture of that. Alright, so let's hop out of here. Still don't know what to do about that. Then let's... Go up here and see what's happening. Um, little town. All right. Uh, sure. That's. Hold on now. Whoops. Okay, um, so I have to hit all of the, the points in here. Uh, oh, perhaps like this? Will this work? No. Uh, maybe like this. Does this count? No, that won't even work. Actually looking at it. Hmm. Maybe like this. No. I believe, if I remember correctly, that I have to fit that little tetromino into the shape of its cell. Oh, I still gotta hit all the hexagons though. So how am I to do this? Let me think this through. So what all shapes? Okay, let me think about this logically. So I have to hit all of the corners and I can only hit them coming from one of the three, one of the two, three or four directions orthogonal to it. So, if I go like this, that will block off that. If I go like that, well, it won't count that. As far as I can tell. If I go like this, it'll block off that. Lock off that. No. I, 
Ah, I think, I think I've got it. Let's try this. Yes? Yes. Okay, and then this, it's a combination of the two, so you gotta include that single square, add it on, and here, wait. No, what? How does that no? Hmm. Because you can't you still have to hit every vertex or whatever. Every point. So oh, I suppose So, what shapes? Or is there a way that I can... No. Well, perhaps. Let's see. No, that's completely incorrect. So, yeah, really the only way I could block this one off by itself would be that. And that's in a position... It can't... Neither of these single squares can go into the little notches, I want to say, in this tetromino. Because then it would have to make at least one part of it a four by four or a two by two square for for total, which would mean that whatever's in the center doesn't get got. So if they connect to it, they have to extend one of the um, ends or have to go out this way, which I suppose. Suppose if it made a very large cross, that would exclude these. But if it were to go this way, no, no, it would be quite trapped then. So it's not that. Can't just be a three by two square. It's got to be some extension. The longest it can be is four, so it can't be both of them on either end or one on each end. Given the position of this... Well, let's see. Three... That's... Uh, no. Given the position of this, which it has to include the square that it is in...
So let's look at the properties of these hexagons. So if I go in this direction, so now I could go up, and I can go across. So nothing is necessarily blocked off. I've begun the shape, but the, there's nothing that's stopped. Now, if I go to this one, that means that this one here will have to, so it's closed off this one. By choosing a path, you've chosen that you are not going to go down the, the other path. So every time you choose a path, you're basically deciding... Hmm. Hey, Coco's up. I'm streaming. The Witness. Um, so anytime you decide to go down a path, whatever one you don't go down has been closed off. So that means... Okay, so... If we keep that in mind... And we move along the squares. I feel like I'm very close to a, a, an epiphany here. So for drawing this shape, everything around it must be approached from another location. So we're having, we're basically creating a separate shape. So if I were to do this, to block off that square, that means that I could not go down this path later, which means that I have decided that this square here is gonna exist. which means that it must be a part of this shape, because if I go up here, I can no longer go down there. And yes, I've blocked that off, so I can't do that. So, I could do this, but then this is not correct. I can't do that, because then those two won't get connected. could do this, but then the, it doesn't actually include the, or, oh, no, no. Can't do anything that makes a two by two, because I have to be able to get everything in. So what are all the shapes I can make? If I'm including one square, I can make this shape is extended. This shape, which is an extension. Um, and because it's tilted, this tetromino can be in any orientation. So it could be up in here. then that's too much. So I don't think I can... Mm, but I have to combine at least these ones. I think. Which means... This one's hard. Uh, I made decent progress, but that's just doing all the early ones that I already more or less remembered the solutions to. The easy ones are the ones that include stuff like the, the, um, like the environment, like trees or whatever, shadows. Yeah. It's these abstract ones, they're just like shapes. They're really tricky. Together and 
in the order as long as it's touching. Yeah, but you got included in the shape, and I gotta hit all these hexagons, which means that this, however it's connected with these squares, can't have a 2x2, two because two, then there'll always be one in the center of that that won't be touched. Um, and I have to include this one here, because the only other way is to do it like this, and that won't make the right shape here. So I have to include both squares in this shape. And it can't go into either of these notches. So it either has to be a big old plus. Can it be a big old plus? Hmm? Is this... Does this make sense? Wait. Yes, it does. Ah, there we go. Okay, I didn't even consider that shape. Oh no, two of them. Yeah, because they're all tilty. Okay, um... So again, these can't go into each other's notches. They can't be back to back. So we gotta... Maybe, hold on. Maybe I'm coming at it from the wrong angle. No, I don't know what I was doing there. Uh, nope. No, you gotta go along the back of it, the way this is set up. Hold on. Okay, so it's gotta combine both of these. So what shapes can these two make that doesn't make a 2x2 two two that has two squares next to each other? Hmm. Could be... Might be. Hmm, no. That would leave a corner. I don't know if you can even hear it. It's hard to say, because you can hear the fan ticking, but that's, like, fairly quiet. Um... How do I do this? So, hold on. Uh, uh -oh. Uh, oh, wait. Hmm. Is that some sort of a clue? This one doesn't have a frame. Does that mean something? Yeah. Hello? Is anyone out there? I am safe inside. Oh, no! Yeah. Scary. yeah, like this this guy. Yeah, it's like super unsettling because you see like these guys, which are they statues? Are they frozen people? Um, yeah, and there's like signs like the earlier when there's the, the tree with the apple that's part of the puzzle and someone has cut down the tree, sliced the apple. The apple is not brown, though. So that means it's been, like, a few minutes since they did it. Which is, like, really spooky. And it's, like, it's beautiful, but it's just super unsettling. Like, what, what is all of this? Why am I the only one here? I love it. It's, it's that implicit, implicit narrative. Anybody out there? Okay. Hmm. Theirs. Um. Hmm. They got to touch on the edges somehow.
Unless, no. Well, no. I mean, okay. If I try and do them like this, that won't work because it's not closed off. I can't do it like this because that's just the wrong shape. So if they're connected, they can't be connected in a two by two in this particular puzzle. Um, if there was like one more space, it could be something like this. They can't be back to back. They could be like. Hold on, how is that? It's. Not exactly back to back, but like. Wait, how would it. How would I draw that out? It would be like. Only like half visualizing it. No, it's not wide enough for what I'm thinking. Because I was thinking if they're like back to back, but it's only the like edge pieces on the flat side. So like this piece connected to this piece facing away from each other, but it would have to be long, a wider puzzle to do that. So it can't be that shape. Can't They can't touch tips like this. They can't lock into each other, so how... I guess this to that? What would that shape be? That'd be like... This... It'd be like that, but I'm coming at it from the wrong angle, I think. Uh, well, nope. Can't do it from there. Maybe... No, no. Is that uh, no? Hold on. Uh, da, 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 da. Maybe if I do it like this. Eh, yeah, yeah, there it is. Nice. Uh oh. Will they touch? Um. They won't. I'm fairly certain. You're right. Yeah. Because I can only. Yep, yep, yep. Corners. Hmm. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, like this. No. Well, okay. Could be. I won't rule it out. Uh, that, like, clip. I feel there's probably more documentary clips you can unlock. That's the only one I've done so far. But it's very, I don't know, it's more intelligent than old Benny Shapiro puts it, but it's very, facts don't care about your feelings. He's like, oh, it doesn't matter because it just shows us interpretation, and interpretation tells us about that guy, and that's why that doesn't tell us anything concrete about the world. And it's like, well, it does, though, because people are part of the world, and... We're only ever gonna see it through our lenses of ourselves. Francis Bacon has the four lenses where he's like the, the interpretations that you have of the world and your, your biases that you're always gonna have. I forget what they are, but it's like 
you're always implicitly going to have four specific biases that you view everything through based on your experience. Listen, if they're bringing philosophy into this, I'm going to talk to philosophers. Or, well, wait. I keep thinking this one has to be straight up and down, but it doesn't. Maybe it's this one that's up and down? So in that case, it would be... So, no. Hold on. With their position, if they're connected, there's really only two shapes it can make? Because they can't overlap. So they can't touch. Because that shape would always more or less exclude this. Because if it goes like this, that's excluded. And if it goes like this, that's excluded. So they can't touch. Not safely, at least. Can't do it that way. Can't do it this way because it's not closed off. But... So that means... Could be turned in either direction. And if either of them is sideways, they'll touch, which they can't. Unless, well, okay, actually there's four shapes they could be. They could be the T, the sideways T shapes in either orientation, or they could be like a big inverted L. I think that would exclude Yeah, no, that blocks off most of it. So it could be that shape. No, because that would, that would go across the entire thing. And it would block off like three of these. So it can't be that shape. So my options are either this, or this, and this, or this. It has to be closed. It has to hit every point, every vertex. Nope. I'm feeling because this one's so close to here that it's got to be like zoop, 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 sow. But it can't be because that would block off this corner. <laughs> so I've eliminated some things, but we've yet to come to a conclusion with it. No. That's the thing. Them being three long, it... it gotta be careful, because it can easily block off a corner. Let me look at the, the past puzzles here, so that, that, that. And I can't layer them because that would both make a two by two and they're on the same horizontal row, so that would not include them both. 
They're too far apart to do that vertically. That would close that off. That would close that off. I don't know. This is not correct, but... Mm. Because according to Jonathan Blow... Mm. Something like this? Maybe... It's not right, but... Okay. No, no, no. I've determined they can't be sideways. They have to be vertical. So what... How could I... I couldn't do it that way. I come in at this... Well, then it gets blocked. I come in at this way. It's not closed off. If it's sideways, it's going to touch that. Big L is too wide. Huh. Uh. Hmm. Do they have to be a solid piece? Like, they can't overlap, but could I... That's not covering all the vertexes. Surreal stomper in it. Can't be side by side in any way. In this this narrow of a puzzle, they can't be that T shape. What? I'm just gonna come back to this one. I have no idea. What are you doing? Ah! Oh, oh, he's juggling! Oh, yeah, I was heading to see what's up with the laser. I'm go. Laser town. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Oh, 
let's find out. That was a big hand. Is it attached to an even larger arm? It is! Perhaps there's more. No. Let me up! Let me up! this. What is this? Oh, oh. The, the colors in this game are so pretty. Apparently they've done an HDR like update and said that it might mess up the stream so I'm not playing with it but it's probably very beautiful. Oh. oh. Ooh. <coughs> Green. Let me in. I want green! Uh, bottom, how am I gonna get down there? Is it here? Hmm? What? Uh-oh. Going too far away from my goal. It's true. Who doesn't, though, you know? I'm only human. Uh. The true questions are any of us really? Yes, Johnny, you are. Yeah, it's like uh, in Ireland. They have, um, have those, and they're, from what I've heard, the most dangerous stones ever. They're right by the sea, and as soon as they get wet, they are just, like, a slipping hazard. What you got? Case? Survey? What you survey? Hello? Hmm. Hello? No! No! Huh? Oh, okay. He's not choking him out. Button. Button. Eh. Eh. Let me in. Oh, so is that one of... Seven lasers? I guess. Hmm. Which direction is the laser coming in? This way. Ah! No. Oh, I don't like that. Ah! A clued. Hey! What the heck? Let's see what that's all about. I don't know, but let's find out. Hmm. Uh, spooky. Hello? Oh no. Oh, it's one of these. Ugh. No, no. Later. I don't know. It was the it's the invisible yellow, and the thing, and the th it's too much right now. My soul. Uh, over here. So wait, like. Whoa. What? Whoa. What? What's going on? What is that? That's what? Oh, I've never found any of those. I was just talking about how like you can just go into puzzle mode anywhere, but I didn't think. Oh, oh, that's that's bananas. I remember um, after this game had come out, I think 
So as Barry Kramer or Aaron Hansen tweeted about how they'd been playing for like five hours and they finally got what was going on. I'd like to think I got that, like with all the environmental stuff, but like it always feels like there's still something that I've been fully grasped. That's me. I have done the sparklies. Well, can I have sparkles? Bamboo! It is in the bamboo. We had, we had, we had. Yeah, I, th I mean, I'm trying this time to pay really close attention to where they're trying to direct me, because it is very open and you can do whatever you want. But <coughs> there's pretty clearly like path that they're encouraging so it's like you go in the opening bid and you open up all the stuff and then you there's all the tutorials there and then you go to the little boathouse and then you do the first laser and I feel the implication is that you go once you find out, see the laser, you go and see what it is. So I think you were supposed to find the, the river bit there um, early on. So that it, like, it's introducing you to all the concepts. This? Can I? Hmm. Down to the beach. Okay. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Go up to segregate. The, 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 the cues. Flowers. Red. Ooh. Slapping. No. Wait. Oh, wait. Does it matter if white is separate? But then how do you separate three with this? Oh, of course. The old zig-a-zag. Processing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Ah. Oh. Four. Ah, this one's impossible. You can't trick me. Oh, old Johnny Blow. Playing one of his classic tricks. Acting like there's a solution to a puzzle when in reality, he made this one impossible. The old trickster god, Jonathan Blow. Blue? Oh, that's the, like, Sega versus Nintendo anime. It, I hope it's decent. I mean, whether it's decent or, or not, it's going to be hilarious. I mean, yeah, I figured there's not much more you could do than the three episodes of that concept. 
Yeah, exactly. I. Hmm. Helmst. Color. What? <laughs> That's true. Well, look, they also have like texture to them, which makes me think that they're like paint. It's like, hold on. Let me see if I can get even closer. Yeah, they're like brush strokes. Yellow. Yellow. Let me add. Oh. Oh. So can I look through? No. Hey. Hmm. Are you Mr. Clue? No. I don't, it's, 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 this one's just spatial reasoning, I think. I think it's just... Other than this, is there to separate four colors? Oh wait, 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 wait! I have an idea. You go goes like this. The manifold, the major lift. That did not work. just have to not be touching. Oh, wait a minute. Those are like sunken in. See that? On the right, it's like depth. Well, this one's easy. Wait. Clever tricks for a blow. Jonathan. Jonathan! Blow! What are you looking at? The boy, he screams. That's to be clear because there's no video. My cat yawns and it looks like he's screaming. He's a good boy. Pet, 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 pet. Ah. Activated. Go up, round. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Maybe. Yes. Yes. Hmm. This was easy. You just go up. Look at that. Call that a puzzle, Jonathan. You're losing your touch. Here you go. Ooh it, ooh it, ooh it, ooh it, ooh it, ooh it. Okay. The baffled So that's the 
and No. Yeah, there it is. Nope. Nope. Two or three? Is that two colors or three? Okay. Hey, upstairs. Oh, it's very pink. Kind of hurts to look at. Hello? Uh oh. Oh no. Oh god. Whoop. No. Unallowed. Uh, spray. Ah. Help. Yes. Hello? And the barrel bar 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 Whoa. Oh, I see your trick. Night mode. Ugh, these triple shot Java monsters. Very watery. Needs the thicker milk. The skim. No. It's really the point. Blue. Ah, God, that's painful blue. Why do plants like pain colors? Open? Mm. My friends. Huh. Huh. gonna change when I get into the blue room. Oh yeah. Nice. Oh, six. Oh, that one's broken. No. the line. Let me out! Green? 
Soon. Soon. Nope, nope. The analog stick. It's not super. I should probably be using the D buttons. No! Broken! No! Green, no! Let's me up. No! What? What am I to do? stairs in this one. I've never heard. What am I to do? But it's broken. like a cyan the the, the tube streaming I'm gonna go grab one of those and we can watch the new Bo Burnham special blue so blue Good day. Bo Burnham special, grinding nachos box. Puzzle. Cat. Touch cat. Cat look. That's only for a moment. streamed this long for quite a while and uh, I think the main reason is being able to sit on a couch is way more comfortable than sitting in an office chair. <laughs> okay, so green would be yellow and blue, so like this. That's what I was thinking.
red and blue. Brings out the red and blue. Makes those white. Blue. Turns the red black. Blue and white blue. Episode The End. Okay, so these are green. Just turn the green and the white, white. Blue one's black, so I'd want this. No. I'd want this. Yes! Yes, I've solved your, your, your green puzzle. Green! I got my green. I'm very thin. What? No! Hello? Oh. It's okay, I remember the I remember the solution. Here we go. <laughs> Whoop! And the final solution. <laughs> Not like that. Yeah, no, that's the blue side. Wait. Outside of the blue. Out of the blue. Oh, yeah. Going up. Color theory. There it is. The key. Now we watch as it unlocks. This is just like, yeah, the, uh, it's such a long animation, and there's like a part where it's just like, doesn't look like it's doing anything. Hmm? Yes? No. Oh. No! No! It looks like, uh, the, like, loaders from, um... Borderlands. It looks like Bastion's face from Overwatch. You gonna zoom? Nice. Now let. Oh uh, God, my eye! Who's that? Mm. 
now we just do it wrong. Wow. Almost a thousand episodes, eh? Yeah. I stopped after, like, the third arc. <laughs> I went to the Sanji arc, because that's the one year I had a subscription to Shonen Jump. Which I love. I mean, it wasn't even expensive. It was like 28 bucks a year. Yeah, well, I saved them. I had a whole year. The thing is, I noticed as it went on, it's like, hey, these are getting progressively thinner <laughs> each month. Yeah. Well, they don't even do it anymore because it just they didn't have enough subscriptions. I think there's a digital subscription you can get, which is kind of cool. Um... It was basically like whatever four chapters had gone come out across the month um, in Japan. So I subscribed when they were doing the last arc, the like Bakura DM arc of Yu-Gi-Oh. They were still very early into Hikaru no Go. They were like just getting into the Cell Saga in um, Dragon Ball. Well, not getting, just getting into it. They were, like, leading up to the Cell games. And it was the tuning exams in Naruto. There's so much... Boruto! What's his dad gonna say? Boruto likes bolts. Eats burgers! Eats burgers? Yeah! What a goof. What a... Ding dang doofus. Yeah. Naruto has had many years. <laughs> yeah. He's been eating he's been eating ramen since before he Boruto was a glint in his balls. <laughs> That's true. Anytime he got ramen, he treated it like it was a special occasion. Yeah. So it's like he ate it as much as he could, but he didn't always get a chance. I don't know. I get he also did like instant ramen. Yeah. Okay, so let's check my thing. Yes, two. So I got five more lasers to find. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Um, I am gonna take a quick break.
have like. Yeah, it's one of those where, like it's warm sometimes. Yeah. It's Timeless. Time, yeah. Like they were trying to do with friggin'. It follows. Okay, I'm, uh, I got it. Okay, there. That, so it's, yes. Then I gotta go back up. That's the one with the black square. Go over two to enclose the white square. Down one. Over one. Get the yellow dot. Hook around. I think that's it. Yeah. What? How? Huh? Ha. Ah. Well, okay. So that means that this is gonna be over here. So. Hmm. Oh yeah. Well, no, because this is too close. Huh? I feel like this is too close. Okay, let's see. So I have to be able to get that. So if I come from this side, then I'm going to... This is going to be included. So then whatever I do with this, I have to cover up that. Is the shirt in the line going the other way? Yeah, there has to be. Hmm. They have puzzles later that just have like four different ending slots. Well, yeah, but the thing with the yellow and the blue is that... The yellow is invisible. Uh, it's been a while since I've played this one. There's like a, a series of puzzles where it like slowly fades away over each one until it's just invisible. Anyway, yeah, there's the second part of the second season of Slime Isekai. Sure. There's another Isekai. There's like five Isekais a season now. I don't know how long it's trying to get over. Three. Three? Is that what I want? Right now it's there, so I want to hook it around that one. Then go through there, do this. Yes! Oh my god. Oh, it's one of these. I love these. Easiest one in the game. Check it out. Solved. Oh, it's another documentary. Hold on. Let me take a picture of that. Picture took. Okay. Let's run back to the windmill and watch a documentary chunk or whatever. Wee! No, nope. won't let me, no matter how hard I try. Though I do appreciate that they're not throwing that into a lesser developer would be like, what if we just like added platforming too? That'd be fun and exciting. But John Blow is like, no. I don't, because the thing is, it would either be mediocre, or it would take so much time that it would detract from the point, which is... Boozle. What's over here? Hello? <gasps> yes! I found him! Come to me! Come to me! My boy! Yes. 
And that's fast travel. Okay, uh... Bleh. Gotta go get over by the lighthouse. So... Wait, where am I? There I am. There am I. Uh, that one looks closest to the lighthouse. Heh <laughs> Fast! Nyom! Let's go! I wonder if there's any puzzles you can only see from the boat in motion. So you gotta do it real fast. Oh, oh that's a bit of a glitch there. Cloud. I see you. I see you, stinky cloud. You can't hide from me. Where's that bell coming from? Who's got a bell? Where's the... Where's the bell on it? Very odd. Oh no! Ah, I didn't unlock this dock! Or maybe this is fine. Let's find out. Give me a proper ramp, my boy. Please. Yes, good friend, good friend. What did Sat say? Zenitsu does not deserve anyone. Period. Yeah, I think that's... That's the real thing, is that... He's never gonna get with the kind of girl he wants, which is some, like, demure... Girl that he can protect or whatever. It's gonna be some girl who's... Constantly... Pushing him forward. Although we saw from Mugen Train in his dream sequence, it's like, if he does get with someone, he would, like, love and adore them. So... I don't know, I feel like... He's not a good guy, but... Oh, yeah. I could definitely see that. I definitely feel like it's not going to be... It's never going to be the girl he wants to get with, because those girls are never going to want so to be with him. Absolutely simple. This comes off really abrasive. What I have to say to you. What's your... Th what are you talking about? That's what about? my teacher said to me. And I'm still... Uh, deeply discovering the reverberation of that. And it's simply stop looking for what you want. Not cynically stop looking for what you want. Because there's a way of stopping looking for what you want in resignation and cynicism and closing down. But innocently, openly, stop looking for what you want in this moment. Not tomorrow when you have it. But in this moment, to take one moment, whatever it is you want. There is so much mouth noise in this recording. Have a mundane or profound, and just stop looking for it. And you will find more than what you could ever want. Because more than what can be wanted is already who you are. Too simple to be grasped, but absolutely, completely realizable. If, and it is a huge if, of course, 
you are willing to give up your hope that what you want will be found in the next thought or the next activity or the next day or the next man or the next woman or the next teaching or the mm. next experience the four genders so that's huge that's man the woman challenge. teaching experience and i've blessedly travel to australia to challenge you <laughs> in that direction that directionless direction It's so simple that it has to be said over and over because it just slips right by the mind. And if it's said over and over and in enough ways and then not said, it can just be revealed. Not as something new, but as something absolutely fresh. Not new, but fresh. Who you are is not new, but it is always fresh. Who you think you are is old and dead. Hmm. We just keep trying to think, think it a little better, squeeze some life. Did Is that clear? <laughs> it is? So that's really the basis of what I have to say. It's not a teaching. It's not a belief system. It's not a, a way to live your life. It's not a, a should stop. It's not an, if you stop, you will be rich and famous and universally loved and never have a sad moment. None of that, I promise. <laughs> but if you're willing to investigate for yourself without believing it or learning it or hoping to get something from it, just a pure investigation out of the natural curiosity of the human mind. Just to investigate for yourself what is here when I stop trying to get anything. Hmm. And how much of that is here? And where does that begin? And where does that end? And then the question Am I willing to trust that? And then the challenges get very big. But we'll get to that later. Hmm. Any questions about what I just said? Oh. Still talking. Want me to say it again? <laughs> you already are everything you want. Only maybe not in the way you imagine what you want. And it's that imagination itself that keeps you from discovering that you already are everything you want. So if you just take this evening as an experiment to give up any imagination, any image of what you need to be totally fulfilled, just give it up. It's just an image, just a thought. Maybe a spiritual thought, maybe a worldly thought, a relationship thought, career thought. Just give it up. And directly discover what's here, unthought, unimagined. How's that? Good. Good. Hmm. I, oh. First one, that one. Interesting. 
There's four more of those. Okay. Fascinating. Yeah, it's it's very different from Braid in quite a few ways. I just that's the thing I love about Jonathan Blow is he's only made two games, but both of them are such fascinating, unique pieces of art that explore not only how we feel about games, about art, about uh, just what a game can be. Like this is such a this is such a concept that is so just not predicated on any real um tropes of games. Like there there are obviously like you you walk around in first person and you interact with things, but like there's so many aspects to this that are just Very, very different. That's that's always the best thing, is like you can take the very simple fundamentals of games, but then put something wholly original on top of it. Okay, how do I do you, you son of a bitch? Hold on, how do we do this? Okay. This guy's gotta be separate. And I gotta Include all of those. I could... Maybe do it like this? No. No, that's incorrect. Something. It's not the right something. But it's something. Hey. Nagima's Wayside School for Weebs. <laughs> um... So these have to be in this specific one by two horizontal. Well, it can be um, two by two on top. Yeah, I mean they can be combined, but they have to be. They can't work. Yeah, true. Right. So. No, can't be like a. Hmm? Like this? That's the big thing, yeah. No. What? Mm -hmm. No. Mayhaps like this. No. No, I cannot separate those in that way. I can't do it down the middle. The way these are set. Ah, maybe, yeah, I think, yes, ow, that's another one of these, okay, another picture, what's the rule today? 
I don't know. These ones just are always like just lying by themselves. It's the third one I've found. I don't know. I've I've tried them. I don't really get what it's. It just gives me that. I guess this is small enough that I could just brute force it if I really tried. Why though? Yeah. But why? <laughs> why did that work? What did that do? Well, I'll take a picture of the solution. I'm just battling stories of him retweeting this gender revealer. Uh huh. Twitter, and then a new one is a gender reveal is only the appropriate name if it's from the Gender region of France. Otherwise, it's just sparkling disappointment. True. Well, I'm gonna go. There's one at the beginning here. So let me see if I can get that and then figure out through context what what it is. What it is, what it do. Happy Man Snacks, back again with another review. <laughs> Kaguya? Oh yeah, we did. I'm pretty sure we did. D uh, yeah. Huh. How did we not watch season two? Same way we didn't watch all 40 odd anime animals. You know, that's fair. <laughs> I don't know, I trust I was you. Watching... Okay, so Put it on. I was watching the dub. I wasn't watching the dub, I was watching a compilation of the dub. The na narrator is fucking hilarious. Okay. Um. But it has a lot of season two stuff, which I would like to experience the full thing in Japanese first. Right. Why is this then? So what is it about these solutions? What do these have in common? What? Why? I have no idea. I, I, I don't get it. What is this triangle? What does it mean? Coco, what does it mean? Yeah. Who am they? Who is Triangle? No. Yeah. If you want an anime that is lacking in any subtlety. I mean, technically, it's there, that's all they're going to do. They're just going to pick stuff that is just, like, twisted, whether it's good or not. Let's give this one another shot. What's the big difference? Happy Sugar Life is like... Psychological. Well, yeah, part of it is because it takes, like, the actual reality of abuse and cycles of abuse and uses them effectively rather than just being like, Oh, she's crazy because she likes a guy and she's going to stab him. It's like, that's just... It's just gratuitous for no reason. They're recommending Maho Shoujo 
of sight. But I think fucking Magical Girl Raising Project is like a way better and way closer. Yeah, Magical Girl Raising. Like it's still edgy, but it's not like so blunt, you know? Ma yeah, the sight one, it was like fine i well, the, the, no okay that's the difference is that the magical girl raising project actually like used the concept to like actually create tragic situations the site just tortured characters it just it just found it just found ways to be cruel and it Basically, it didn't work because the characters didn't have a personality outside of how they tortured or were tortured. Yeah. Whereas Magical Girl Raising Project, they had motivations and lights and, like, ideas and, like, wants and dreams outside of this that were incorporated into it. But in Magical Girl Sight, it's just, like, this is just... Th this is all their life is. Like, everything before that was misery and everything after that is just more misery in a different way and it's like it's just brutal for no reason what was it? there was also that one darwin's game that was <laughs> so stupid God, yeah. and it was just yeah that was just like isekai levels of just power trip so stupid ah what's <laughs> okay what shapes can i make with these with a single line that will be fully enclosed That will still cover all of this. Like, if I go like that... No, that's not fully enclosed. And also, yeah, I can't go up and do it. I guess maybe like this. But no. Buddy, I, I have bad news for you. Yeah, someone's like, some minor spoilers. You're going to be pissed a lot. <laughs> That's not minor spoilers, dude. That's... It makes me think... Um, Danny had a story where he was just like... We were watching a sports game, and my Spanish... It was like Ireland versus Spain, and my Spanish friend was there, and his mom came in, and we were just like, don't spoil it. We haven't seen it, because it was pre-recorded, and she's like, well, I think you're going to be very happy. And it's like, oh, great. Are we going to find a love for Ireland by the end of this game? Like, don't tell me how I'm going to feel, because then I immediately know, okay, you know what I'm expecting, and you know what I wouldn't like, so you've just spoiled it. You may as well have just said what happens, because that's what it is. If you don't want to spoil it, just be like, just keep watching. Don't comment. If you're going to comment... If you comment, is this character going to die? I would be mad if they die. And the answer, given the show, is probably yes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's just like, it's... This, is a char this is a character show about a guy who can live forever. Yeah, no. The, the, the... Oh, gee, he's making friends with a mortal person. Yeah. The entire premise is but effectively... Mean, like, yeah. And that's the thing, is, like, even if they don't die in some horrible, tragic way, he's just gonna outlive them yeah. at some point. It's like watching a show about all of the pets somebody has a, over their entire life. Like it's gonna be story. sad. <laughs> yeah. A dog's life. So dog's purpose. Dog's purpose makes it sound real creepy. I gotta say, I don't like that. Uh, dog's purpose is inviting God into your life. A dog's purpose is specifically to exist for man. Shit in the backyard. Shit in the backyard. New fruits basket, the final topic. All caps. What is going on with this show? What do you mean? It's okay. okay everything they've been on. setting up since the beginning know, is going on with this show. What are you talking about? Like, I just. Or the people who were like, I watched the first season, it was really slow, and I didn't like the 
character is, but now everybody's saying the third season's really good. Yeah, it's almost like it's a story meant to be told over three seasons, and the first season is setting up characters at the beginning of their arcs where they are not fully formed yet, and they're going to go through a lot of development by the end. I don't know how you watch them don't like it. Well, that's the thing, is that people forget, because anime is so good nowadays honestly most stories are so good at just like dropping in a character fully formed exactly as likable as they're ever gonna be and they never change and it's just enjoying seeing them and it's like that can be fun but there's like no satisfaction in that so seeing a story where characters go through many forms and they're not always likable and they're nuanced and they like have variety to their character is too much. People don't have the patience for it, and that sucks for them because they're going to miss out on a lot of really great stories. And I do genuinely feel bad for them. I hope they're able to find the patience to enjoy, like, story. <sighs> I keep just spinning my wheels with this. If I go up to go around this, that's done, so I can't do that. Can't go up. That's locked out. If I go up and do it like this... There's no real way for me to include this. So if I go up and do this, I'd have to go around to do this. And do that. So it can't be that, because then I miss out on this entire bottom. So I can't just go to there, can't just go to there. If I go all the way up, there's no way to enclose this. If I go like this... It doesn't do any of those, so it can't be that. If I go here and go around, what? I just... It has to be a shape that uses all of the dots. No. Just fill in the bottom. Food wars. I don't know. I want to like food wars, but yeah, it's just so such. Hard. It's just, as someone who knows how to cook, I find so much of it incredibly annoying. Especially, it's... It's the Sherlock thing. Of, it's clearly written by people who have read some stuff about how to cook. But, they don't... They're writing this world that's supposed to be master chefs. Like, people who are just the best at what they do. Prodigies. And so then they have to go a step past that and write this main character doing things that would impress people at that level. And that is a ridiculously tall order, and I don't think they succeed on it. Because if you're doing it for something like Dragon Ball, say, like... You're making all that up, so you can make up something that's impressive. Like, oh, he went to Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan something that no one's never done. Okay, I can get through context that that's something. But when you take a real-world topic, and, like, your idea is, oh, I soaked this rice in, in chicken stock, that's why it's so delicious. Or, like, the, the egg in chicken stock, and they're like, oh my god, that's amazing. It's like, that wouldn't impress someone whose palate is so good from birth that she like this is ridiculous no that would not be that impressive like that's that's clever and you'd be like oh yeah that's pretty good but it wouldn't like m make you f lose your mind with flavor it's just stupid is it's if it was written by someone who knew food and cooking really well even then it would be incredibly difficult to pull that off so the fact that it's being written by someone who clearly doesn't 
makes it just kind of annoying. I don't blame you. But there are moments that are really funny. I will not, I will not deny the comedy parts can be funny. It's just that the core is so fucking aggravating to my brain. It's Maybe something like this. I will agree with that. God, I just, what am I doing here? But yeah, it's it's so over the top, which I agree is pretty funny. And the, the, I feel like the entertainment for it comes from just how ridiculous they can get with the reactions. I guess it can become even funnier, like, the more, like, pedestrian the technique is, the more hilarious it is that these people who are supposed to be, like, the greatest in the world are freaking out at it, like, you wrapped a potato in bacon?! It's an I just can't get over the one where it's like, oh my god, you wrapped a potato in bacon! It tastes like pot roast! And it's like... Yeah, it's pork fat on a starch that's... It's probably delicious. I don't know. I don't think that would impress you that much. Or there was that one where they had to do, like, buffet style, and he made, like, the French-style omelets all collapsed. I don't remember how he figured that one out. I also hate that, like, every single assignment they have is a test. How are they learning at this school? That was the thing that... Fr that was the thing that I was always frustrated about, is that they're not learning anything. They're just being tested on the things they already know, and it's like... I guess that's a challenge, but like that's not I think the how you teach people, someone. I, I swear <laughs> I remember there was a part where they talked about the actual school side effects. He's coming in really late. Main guy. And I don't know if it's accurate or not, but I remember them like a small part of them being in the classroom. But like Well yeah, there was a part where they're in the classroom. Where it's like... That's so close! Ah. Um, but that's the thing, is when they're in the classroom, they're just like, Okay, do this thing, and if you don't, you're expelled. It's like, so they're doing a final exam as their first lesson, and you didn't teach them anything, you just told them to go do a thing. That's what I'm saying, it's like, everything was like, major stakes, even when it's supposed to be just... A standard lesson. But that's like saying uh, he's showing up like randomly. They've been going to school. No, they have. He started with the rest of them at the beginning of the year. I'm pretty sure. See, we're going off of pretty sure as the both of us. Look it up. Look up the premise of does I'm he start? Just look up the wiki. It literally the plot summary of like he starts at the beginning of the year or he comes in later in the year. That will answer this question. Then I guess we'll never know. Soma. I think I don't know. <laughs> it's been a long time since we watched it. I will be fully honest. There we go. That's why it's called Food War Soma. Because he, he's getting Soma that food. <laughs> he's getting Soma that food to cook. <laughs> yeah, probably. Do you care? Yeah! What, what is the... What big plot point is going to get spoiled to you? He cooked the food. <laughs> he's now the fucking headmaster of the school. I'm like, oh! Yeah, of course. He's going to be the biggest thing ever. That's how these shows work. It's not like, oh, and he get, he dies. Like, there, and the new guy comes in instead, and he's the main character for the rest. Like, that would be a crazy twist, but that's very unlikely to happen. I don't know. What am I doing? What am I doing with my life here? No, it has to... Yeah. No, I gotta be able to hook it around. Ah, they're just in such an awkward position. I 
But this would be it if those two weren't there. Uh. Uh. The worst part of this game is like, how do you even look up a walkthrough? You know? But then it's like, what? Or, they're not in any specific order, so it's yeah, like. It's location. What's this location called? But there's like several different areas in here. They all have very vastly different puzzles. And they're like, this puzzle or this puzzle? That one! It's like the menus. I don't. What do I. What do I do? I don't know. Yes. No. No, I gotta. No. No, I can't come back around. Ugh. Just don't even know what shape I'm trying to make. Really? I know the one I was very close with one, but I don't think that's correct. Uh, what? Just that like that like mean bitch who's like the main love interest. Yeah, the Sundere, because it's <laughs> always But, um, she's trying to put him in his place. She tells him their fellow classmates have formal culinary education for the past three years, so he's coming in three years late. Sure. And then he's like, yeah, well, I have 12 years of personal kitchen and customer service experience, and they do not. Well, that is true. So... To be honest, like, that's always the thing in Hell's Kitchen, is they'll have the challenges that get them some reward. <laughs> And they're like people who are really good at the challenges, but then when it comes down to the actual service at the end, they suck. And my larger thing is like, you can craft a menu if you're good at the challenges, but if you can't handle a service, you're not gonna be able to run a restaurant, period. Like full stop. So like, yeah, it's like, you might have culinary experience there, but it's like, all you're learning how to do is be basically like a personal chef. You're not learning how to actually run a restaurant, which is the main thing you're going to do in the culinary world. So it's, yeah, I don't know. And that's just like, that's still not. Surely, reach will not fall. Uh-oh, John. <laughs> I can't. I can't with this. My brain... My brain hurts. Thousands of puzzles on this dang thing. I'm just... I think I'm just hungry. I want that grande nacho box. You've been doing this for three hours. You've been chugging along. I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna leave it at this. I'm gonna go get lunch. We're gonna watch the Bo Burnham special, which I recommend you guys watch too. Uh, is it inside or alone? I, it's on Netflix. It's going to be like at the top featured right now. So go on Netflix, watch the Bo Burnham special. Watch his other specials because they're all amazing. And they just each got better and better. I mean, I was never expecting him to make another special. I was ta saying like a couple months ago, like I really was sad that they weren't going to make more specials. But they did. And I'm excited. So you guys go watch that. I'm going to take a break. Maybe get back to this today. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Right now, I'm done. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, follow, follow me on Twitter at IggyDKid. Follow me on YouTube, Iggy and the Ape. Check out all that stuff. You can watch this and other streams in the past broadcast tab or 
on uh, Iggy Kid Twitch Archive. That's three words. Iggy Kid, one word. Twitch Archive on YouTube. It has all my past streams. Go check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good Sunday. Might see you later tonight. Maybe later this week. Whatever. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye.